Give me a second. Real... Oh, I, we can't go to camp here. I can't go to okay. camp. Gotta leave this place first. Okay. Uh, stay there for a second in the submersible in case other people like Omelium have stuff to say. Uh, they all just left. Did you okay, leave? Okay, good. Uh, Shadowheart did. That might have caused it. They all blinked out of existence all at the same time. Okay. All right. Hello, everybody. So, Raven Guard auto talked to us. Where is it? So, Omelum's in the back. Your world's air. I never imagined missing its feeling on my skin. Curious. I owe you a great debt, son child. One I shall repay. When I return to the surface, I will alert my colleagues at the society. Find me there, and I will offer you what aid I can against this evil. And I guess we'll figure out who all these people are. Zombo Pombo. Listen, lad. Only a special sword could have done what you did. Thank you. I think they're Harpers. That's probably true. What they were doing with us was... Horrid. Thank you for saving me. Oh, that was amazing. Like one of them old hero stories. Thank you. I just... I... I can't thank you enough. I was certain that place was to be my cold, wet tomb. I just wish more of us had made it through. But morning can wait. We were kept hostage to control our families in the Steel Watch Foundry, to keep them building Gortash's death machines. Please. They need to know what happened here. They have no reason to obey Gortash anymore. If they rebel, it'll put a dent in Gortash's steel might. It says watchers, okay. Alright, I will help the foundry workers rebel. Gon smiles on me this day. Thank you. Let's see. Ogro! It's free! Free! Ogro has a speech pattern. Oh. There's one human. My sincerest thanks, friend. I don't know what possessed you to find us in that place, but I am surely glad you did. He's got little birds on his cheek. Still hurts, but thank you. Okay, that's everybody. So I guess that was the person that was shouting at me to talk to them, was the person that's like, hey, uh, Please, worker quest. There we go. Let's bring Kant back to life, probably. Father, can I go? This is the well. It wasn't even expensive. It was it was money that didn't need to be spent. <laughs> so I'm salty about it. You're usually salty. It's fine. Hey, Mizora. Uh, can't notice that Raven Guard's standing five feet away from you now. <laughs> <laughs> it's awkward. <laughs> you're pleased with yourself saving raven guard and making a fool out of me in a single swoop yeah go on yes do your gloating you've earned it damn right i did my father is safe and my chains are broken <laughs> yeah you were there <laughs> we totally knew his dad was going to be there you're <laughs> such a loser <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that dialogue is so satisfying yeah. after everything we just got through. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny because this all happened. Oh. And it, it's like, this is so plot important, but it all happened because we were like, there's a cool temple down here. Oh, there's drowning people and stuff. <laughs> fun, fun scale dress. Whoops, broke the plot. <laughs> You are such a loser, Mizora. You broke a contract and got nothing out of it. Ha! Yes, celebrate your fortunes. But remember, 
But they are lost as quickly as they are gained. That's fucking funny. For now, <laughs> you've tipped the scales in your favor. But all it takes is a whisper for me to tip them back. Ma'am, we are never talking to you again. <laughs> Pres probe Mizora's mind. Minus one from intelligence, but it's not hard, apparently, so... Uh, still not a great hit chance. Like 50-50. Fuck you! Raven God will fall. I will strike when the Duke has the most to lose. And I have the most to gain. Um... I think I should click the attack button. <laughs> you can't, unfortunately. I wish. I wish we could camp and counter attack her right now. Oh my god, wait, you... Oh, she disappeared. <laughs> uh, Wait. you attacked Lazel. Why? What? And now Lazel is attacking you. That doesn't even make sense. <laughs> what? I know you will come for him. Try it, and I'll save him again, and kill you while I'm at it. Clause A, Section 2. Should Soul Holder choose to abandon his patron, he is freed from his duty. His father, Grand Duke, Older Raven Guard, will be thus fated to die by an enemy's hand. A sealed pact is mightier than even Asmodeus's ruby rod. Oh. Do you think by merely saving a duke that you were ripping it through? You're such a witless little thing. Laugh in the face of the Archduchess Sariel. Then she only laughs back. By all means, struggle and seethe when I come for Zariel's prize. Play the hero. Put up a fight. Seed but don't mauled. forget who signed away <laughs> his own father's life when Raven Guards finally bled. I want you out of here now. I'm afraid that's not an option. I'm quite stubborn, you see. Take a swing or a stab if you want. But I'll just slip away for a breather. One of the perks of being a half devil, of course. Right. It's too much to we'll... code her leaving, so she will stay here in the party. <laughs> Father will be waiting in camp. It's about time we talked. Yeah, he's here. We're in camp <laughs> next to him. He's right there. <laughs> About the legend of, An of Ansur. It's not just a legend, it's a history. Consider this to worm way neath prison's deepest level. That must mean Worm's rock prison. That's where we'll find the entrance to this worm way. Then this with the shock of a true hero's spark flickers, the torches are light, and Worm's eye shall awake a glitter. To open the way, we'll need to spark torches. This dragon, Ansor, was Baldurin's ally. We'd be fools to let him sleep while the Dead Three's Chosen raised the city. Sorry, you said worm too many times. Now it's not a real word anymore. <laughs> Let's talk about us. My favorite subject. I'm not covered in blood today. <laughs> May I kiss you? They fix the kisses. They said they fixed the kisses. They said they made some of them better, yeah. Let's see. Oh, I can't see past my own hair anyway. <laughs> oh. They're nope. a little it's, better. It's a, he slid up onto my top lip. <laughs> and Razor Guard. First you cleave my heart in twain, now you shatter it to pieces. My son, a monster. Twist it beyond recognition, to think my blood flows through those veins. Is this my fate? To be freed from Gortash's hell, only to be trapped in yours? It isn't what you think. It never was. You turned your back on me, on your city. 
to chase the she-devil and her power. She stinks up the place even now. It is exactly what I think. He had a very different mood 30 seconds ago. <laughs> All right, man. Listen. <laughs> Listen. Let's see. We'll see how well that goes, I guess. Call on the parasite. Connect with father and son. Ravenguard should know the truth. Ravenguard's tadpole clenches as your memories and wills flow. Clenching into tadpole. You. My tears rose. I'm in your mind. The Grand Duke sees Mizora and her infernal sisters. He sees the agony in Will's face as an impossible choice. Oh, is no. Set before him. <laughs> no. My son. The past becomes present, and Will's thoughts are laid bare. Ravenguard sees Will partnering with Mizora to defeat Tiamat's cultists before they could lay siege to Baldur's Gate, and he sees everything beyond. The Nautiloid journey, the perilous path to Moonrise, the astral prism, and the Emperor within. Will. Everything I did, I did for Baldur's Gate. I did for you. <laughs> I bet you feel like a real bastard right about now. <laughs> it's the truth, Ravenguard. Will has always been a faithful defender of Baldur's Gate. My son. You sold your soul to save Baldur's Gate. And I cast you out for it. You gave yourself to the Hell's eternal fire so I might walk free. By the gods. Can you ever forgive me? There's nothing to forgive. You wanted to protect the city. I only ever wanted the same. You are a better man than most. And a better son than I deserve. I'll yet make amends, but my duty is first and foremost to the city and its people. There's something I must ask of you. Go on. Before I was captured, I was on a mission. Returning from Alterel, I discovered the plans of the Absolutists. I immediately realized the city couldn't defend itself against such an army. I didn't despair, because the city has a secret guardian, a worm that sleeps beneath. He can be called upon in times of great need. This is such a time. You've been trained in the ways of the great champions and proven to be one of them. The worm will answer your call. You must seek him out. What lessons do you mean? Courage, insight, strategy, justice. I remember them well. You made me recite them every morning. So you do. And I thought you'd abandon them. <laughs> More fool me. The worm goes by many names. Answer, the waiting storm, the heart of the gate. He promised Baldurin He'd protect the city if ever its existence was threatened, but just the once. Since then, the city has faced countless threats, but we always overcame. There was never a need to call on the worm. Until now, the Absolute is the greatest threat Baldur's Gate ever faced. The worm must be awakened, and the task falls to you. Take this. The legend of Ansur. An ancient epic. Ill remembered. Dismissed as a mere tale. Let it set the path before you. Your faith and will is well founded. We will seek the worm and ask for his help. Thank you. And may the city know the truth of my only son. 
pride of Raven God, pride of Boulder's Gate. Ooh, we did it. It is funny being reintroduced to the dragon again, so you can like, you can patronizingly be like, uh, what are you talking about? Are you saying there's a dragon under Baldur's Gate? <laughs> After we already talked about it four times. Oh, well, there's more dialogue. We'll finish what my father couldn't. We'll awaken Ansur, the heart of the gate. O oh, Baldurin, founder due veneration. His guardian dragon, Ansur, tremendous in worth. A savior below our eternal elation. It's an incredible tale. What do you make of it? It's not just a tale. It's a history. Consider this. To worm way neath prison's deepest level. That must mean worm's rock prison. That's where we'll find the entrance to this worm way. Then this. With the shock of a true hero's spark flickers, the torches are light, and Worm's eye shall awake a glitter. To open the way, we'll need to spark torches. This dragon, Onsor, was Baldurin's ally. We'd be fools to let him sleep while the Dead Three's chosen raised the city. Reunited with your father, how does it feel? It's complicated. <laughs> There's the joy of reconciliation, the relief of forgiveness, and the anxiety of new expectation. It's a flurry of emotion. I'm not sure how to make sense of it. Focus on the relief. Finally, your father knows the truth. Relief? My last seven years have been defined by the secrets I carried. I feel light as a feather now that I've shed them. When I left the city, my father saw only a boy carrying the stench of the hells. Now, he sees the man I made of myself. Once all this is ended, once we've crushed the brain and freed the people, I could once more call Baldur's Gate home. Whether I return there, well, only time will tell. We did it. Let's see. Probably want to go talk to Omulum before I forget. I don't see anyone else around town. Teleport back upstairs. I'm gonna wait at the Undercity Ruins uh, so we can continue investigating the Ball Cult. When you are ready, I will be right back. Okay. I'm going to talk to Omaloom. Poster hath AFK'd. Gasp. Here we go. A lodge. To see you. Your intervention within the cult's underwater complex was a timely one. I am glad my carelessness did not cost the life of Duke Ravenguard. That you also saved me was unexpected. I would never have left you behind. I would rather like you. 
I too feel some warmth at your presence. Your inclination to generosity is an admirable quality, one I wish to reciprocate. Blurg and I have consulted on the matter of your reward. We first thought to ask the denizens of the Underdark for their aid in fighting the cult. Alas, our influence there remains negligible. Instead, we have selected a series of items from the Society's vaults. Given my kind's involvement in creating this evil, it is only right that I do my part in helping you defeat it. Or at least, improving your odds. Oh, Malone's boom. It is best I do not interfere further with events on the surface. I will return to my research. It has been neglected long enough. Omeloam tells me I have you to thank for its safe return. We know the risks when we go out into the field, but to lose my friend in such a way would have been most disheartening. Bravery is no bad thing. In fact, your research should be invaluable for my cause. If there's any conclusion to be drawn from this, I think it's that Omeluum and I are safest back in the Underdark. Our research there must continue. We may not be able to fight on the front lines as you do, but we may yet do some good for those who call it home. We'll depart when this absolute army is defeated. I understand you are involved in the matter. I hope our gifts will provide you with some meaningful assistance in fighting the evil Omeluum uncovered. Do let us know how you get on. Okay. All right. I am um, sort of back. I don't know where my phone went. Where the fuck did I just put that? <laughs> um, that anyway. Where go? I am here. Uh, while you were gone, I found the greatest novelty I've seen on the internet in a very long time. What does that mean? Some kind of nightmarish AI website? It's an AI website, but there's so much here. It goes so deep, and I'm losing my mind on it. Do not ask how I made it here. Do not ask how this happened. I just found this, and I'm losing mean? my mind. <laughs> Positively progressive. A possum future. Is that their <laughs> one pun? Pause up for pro progress. Is it all pause? <laughs> Make America furry again. When was it before? Also, you broke the, tr the the streak of pause. Putting the fur in future. <laughs> 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 All right, where did you come out? In a little place with a dead human and a dead wizard. <laughs> yep, that is that is what that word's well, dead halfling and a dead human who is a wizard. Whatever. Uh, all of these things are going to be trapped. I guarantee it. Maybe it's an entire room yep. full of mimics, crawling claws, and ancient servants. I knew it was going to do that. This gave us spell rot, which I think steals your spell slots. That's fun. Uh, okay. Oh, it's mummies. It's the mummies tomb. Oh. So. Gonna have to navigate towards the fight real quick with Starian. Asterion was still, uh, was still at the submarine. <laughs> oh, that's not good. Well, time pauses. He'll get there. 
slowly hobbling my way over. Oh, why is the door closed? Uh, lockpick? Is it time to reload and then bring Asterion in here and not set off the trap so we can do this fight? <laughs> Difficulty class 20. Come on. Oh, nat 20. <laughs> ah. I'm a scream sneezer. <laughs> it's a curse. All right, Asterion is here, but is there anyone that he can actually shoot? Oh, the entire room is red. Okay. Carefully sneak around the red. Ooh, there's a lot of treasure, though. Where are our bad guys? That's Wolf Thorn. Those are all of our guys. 75% chance of hitting. Okay. Fine. There you go. Fuck you. 90% <laughs> chance of hitting. They're a high ground. I think everything that looks like a cliff is actually just the on top of a wall. Rude. It's probably preferable for him to not really approach anybody. Oh, she has no actions. Shadow Heart's turn. Um, I'm gonna s I'm gonna use Spirit Guardians, even though I'm gonna take damage for it. Forty-two damage. Oh gee. You gonna be okay? I'll live. Probably the best I can do is hopping in here. Hit. Meowdy. How big is this going to be? Let's just teleport down there. Pretty good. Oh, I'm so close. Oh, well. <clears throat> Time to push my luck again. Uh, don't have Displacer Beast. Oh, don't have wild shape charges. Okay. Uh, we might total party wipe right now. <laughs> that's exciting. Let's try this guy. Two damage. And you took 24 damage. What did I take 24 damage from? Spell rot. Oh, this Unless is Unless you're undead, each time you cast a spell, you receive 3 to 18 necrotic damage per spell level. In addition, you have disadvantage on all saving throws. Oh. Goody. <clears throat> well, that's not a spell. This guy is still here. <laughs> <gasps> oh, I'm so stupid. What? Uh, these are all undead enemies. Shadowheart can turn undead. And it's not <laughs> a spell, it's just channeling divinity. <laughs> that does seem a little important. 
Well, oh. Anth is going to die. Yep. Kanth is usually going to die. No, he never dies. He's really good at dying. <laughs> He has a talent for dying. Uh, things are bad for us right now. It's not ideal. Oh, can't be healed. Mummy rot. Yeah. So. Well, that, you know. this was a mistake. It was. We've we, we, you've made a grievous error. <clears throat> well, I thought I could help. <laughs> nope. So things have gone better before. Ow. Yeah. Yeah, this is going to be a save and a reload, I think. <laughs> what go wrong? I just wasted my entire turn not picking you up. <laughs> It'll be fine. I don't even think I'm going to get back to Shadow Heart's turn so that I can actually use Turn Undead. I think she's going to die immediately. I'll just cast spikes on you. E and then you'll take 20 damage. It's fine. She doesn't matter. She <laughs> matters. <laughs> I don't even have... I don't, even, I don't have shapeshifting. <laughs> there we go. We now my, my... 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 Telekinetic hand has spell rot. We all have spell rot. <laughs> we all do? Yep. It hit us even out here? Yep. Alright. New idea. Reload. Specifically, only uh, Asterian, Asterian, doesn't. Asterian doesn't have it. Okay, so what's gonna happen is we're gonna reload. Alright, uh, I think I'm ready for us to do whatever we want when you want to do it. So, do what you'd like. Probably just shoot somebody so you can get back the easiest. And then, as he makes a break for it, we can cast things. So many enemies. Okay, I would like to be yep for it to become Asterian's turn so he can immediately leave. The Crawling Claws are very dangerous, just for what it's worth. They seem to do crits automatically. I don't really know why. Oh, boy. Let's go. Survival is all that matters. All right, Wolfthorn. Let's cast this right in the door so they can't dodge it. Take a bit of damage. Okay. What else do um, I have? Panth is here, and he is going to throw some stuff. Do I have any fire stuff to throw? Because the undead hate fire. 
They're big fans of not being on fire, or so I've heard. Also, I don't have a thing equipped for using a bow. I don't have a crossbow. That's mm. what I was trying to say. English. <laughs> um, hmm. Let's see, do I have a bomb? I gave myself another action, but I don't know if I actually have anything fun to do with that action. I can try this. Do you have any no, use for a water surface? <laughs> um, Just divinity original sinning this and just like spewing environmental effects all over the place could be helpful. <laughs> No, don't walk forward. Alright. Okay. <laughs> now. Being a weirdo. Oh. <laughs> it didn't cast. I threw a lightning arrow hoping that it would trigger the arrow. And it but just instead didn't do he just lighting. threw it. <laughs> oh, like he threw it as yeah, he threw as it like as a item. as a rock instead of like yeah, <laughs> like 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 he's like dumping it. Oh damn it! That's fine. That it's is right. not ideal. <laughs> Fuck, that's funny. That's like a funny. Like, <laughs> go. <laughs> And it just doesn't do fucking anything. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Go, God damn it. onion. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, <laughs> we have fun here. Anyway, this is fun. I'm just gonna. Um, I wish I had more of my nice stuff in Are my inventory. Are you fucking kidding me? What? She took damage from casting, and it broke her concentration on the spell that she cast that she took damage from. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's deeply annoying. Does this guy have a weird AoE thing he can put on the ground? Not really. He can just kind of wait for the fight to start. Oh no, Shadow Heart's in combat now. God damn it. Okay, that's fine. Oh, I'm scared. My not very strong summon guy is scared. I've only used that that's summon elemental. I've only cast it once ever. I'm shocked he's stuck around this long. Okay. Um, Still the same guy. I want Shadow Heart. No, don't get entangled, thank god. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um Nope. I need them all to be in a line right here trying to get in the door. Can you quick save real quick? <laughs> What's I don't. I've never used this spell before, so I don't know what it does. So, oh, okay. Oh, I see. I click once. No, no, don't do that, no! Jedi. Uh, that's fine. Um, it's fine because I'm gonna do something. I'm gonna do something wacky right now. Come to think of it, is there even a? Let's see. Did we... hang on. Uh. Did Wolfthorn also fail to concentrate when he cast his spell? <laughs> Wolfthorn also lost concentration when the thing backfired on him when he cast Moonbeam, so it's not even there. <laughs> 
I just realized that it's gone. God damn it. So none of my attempts to cast a thing in the doorway worked because they're all concentration spells that broke from the damage back <coughs> I'm fine. Okay, very good. Very good. They're actually all doing exactly what I want them to do. Okay, this is going to be fucking awesome. Don't block the door because I'm going to have Shadowheart get back stand back in the door and then when they're all in a line i'm gonna sunbeam them for like 6d 12 radiant damage mm -hmm. but this i'm just gonna kill myself whenever i try to cast the spell Bleh. what's the range of this thing time to press ahead Fucking broke. <laughs> oh, that makes sense, right? Because we have we have uh, fucking disadvantage, disadvantage on all saving throws, which means yep. we're we're getting fucked. <laughs> that means we, but, that's why but we can't get a single spell even, to come out. Yeah, moonbeam isn't even that useful in this <sighs> instance, so it's like I'm just gonna give up and transform. Yeah. Oh, we're the. <laughs> Well, at least Asterion just shoots people. Sometimes. Nice. Oh no, you're stinky though. God damn it. Keep guessing. He's God? Okay. I'm gonna blow these guys up in a second. As soon as it gets <laughs> back to Shadowheart's turn, it's going to be unreal. All right, camp. Baby, buddy, pal. Little guy. Do I even need to do anything else? Uh, is there anything big I can chuck at you? Anything good and big and heavy I can throw? That's two pounds. Um. <gasps> What did you find? <laughs> Oop. Another grease bottle. Look at that little flailing hand. This was perfect. This was lit. I am. I am a mad genius. Yes. Yes. Run forward. Yes. <laughs> Yes! <laughs> All right, watch this. I might be able to get him in. I'd be helping if any of my spells existed. <laughs> All right. Having every single fail not stick, every single spell not stick is brutal. Kamehameha! <laughs> 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 Oh, cleric, cleric with sunbeam. All right, there's only oh, one. There's only one good. hand remaining. Oh, my power is ultimate. I imagine, the, I imagine the three ancient servants are the ones that could give us mummy rot. Possibly, yes. Oh, mummy rot is how I lost one of my first D and D characters. Was it interesting? Yeah. As far as I can tell, it's because they didn't understand how the ability worked, because my character pretty much ceased to exist in seconds. And it's supposed to be like a like a very long term ailment, apparently, from what I've heard. So our DM just killed me instantly out of nowhere. <laughs> I 
Hey, what was that weird guttural chanting? Yeah, I heard that. I think it's you. to lumba hunga humba gungler. This is very weird. I assume it's you. Can? Why would he be chanting? No, I mean, well, I mean, because monk. Not not necessarily you specifically, but it's like a monk oh. noise. Gotcha. I was like, that's not Kant's voice. What are you talking about? He's monking it up. So now this is going to be my sacrificial summon. He's just going to get killed out here. That's his job. God, my coming oh my my God. is so good. That was some damage. We're about halfway to our final level. We're working on it. These guys definitely shower us in experience. Can I make it in any real way? <laughs> God, I love cleric. <laughs> light, light domain cleric is special. Yep. Out of nowhere, I just got a text message from my brother. It's it's like 1 a.m. where he lives, or no, it's 11 p.m. where he lives right now, and he just messaged me. Have you ever heard of a game called Return of the Obra Din? <laughs> <laughs> yes, thank you. A very I have. good video game. You should try it sometime. I've I've beaten it. <laughs> Get dunked on, dude. Jeez. Um, that's fine. Shadowheart doesn't need to do fuck all after this. She's done a great job so far. Get camped. One enemy remaining. We did it. And now we get to have basically all of the goodies for us. Wolf Thorn never attacked. <laughs> oh man, that was great. We did a great job. I'm loving that. Attempts were made. These guys have nothing on them. What a... They're, they're mummies. <laughs> what a scam. They are just rapid corpses. Well, they should be fucking wealthy corpses if they're in a tomb like this. Didn't people used to bury mummies with like jewels in their eye sockets and shit? <laughs> wow. I was really expecting those crates to be filled with more gold and not just 300 gold. This place is a scam. We we were scams into this fight. <laughs> Immortality well, I practically, I shall ascend. I just remembered to open Omalum's boon, because he gave us that, and it's not good. They gave us one good, a Dimension Door Scroll, Wizard Bane Oil, Fungal Bamboozler, Scroll of Sunbeam, and a Supreme Healing Potion. So... <laughs> scroll his, of Sunbeam's really good, as is Dimension Door. Those yeah, are two very good things. It's just his aid was, I don't know, here's some one time, here's some consumables. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Thanks, Omolo. Glad we saved your life. <laughs> All right. Well, we got pretty much everything else that was in here. Is there stuff in these I'm vases? No. suspicious of this wall. Aha. I'm right. Whatever. Whatever you say, man. I am right. Let's see. DC of 20. Okay. 18 plus all these numbers. That'll be good. 30. I got a 30 on 20. I Tell got it my open. first try. I also got it on my first try. There we go. Congratulations. He did the same thing as me, but pointlessly. <laughs> Sure sign of necromancy. 
I got a 30 on that one. What's in this chest? Why did it have such high DC? Jar of Mystic Carrion's liver. Oh, do we get to summon... Are we going to build a carrion? A, a carrion, a vulture? A vulture summon? Because we're getting vulture organs. I think. A dead half elf in here with nothing on him, really. The upper part of this tablet describes the necromantic ritual spells employed in to inhere potions of a creature's spirit within its extracted organs, and then sealing these spirit-infused organs inside funerary urns and hiding them to preserve the life force contained therein. The bottom of the stone is crossed by a scratching of crooked letters that decipher as follows. A brilliant idea, but not, a, not an idea of genius such as the concept it inspires in me. Where better to hide such precious treasure than inside the animated body of a guardian who doesn't even know it's there? So, Alright. So we have Carrion's liver, Carrion's brain so far. So there's a canopic jar inside one of the zombies? Possibly. Where's that spear plus one I keep almost seeing? Oh, there it is. It's a throwing weapon. I keep it on me just to throw it at dudes. Nope. Nothing there. I don't see any other zombies. And we didn't blow any, like, away. <laughs> Immortality, practically. An ancient stone cold and damp to the touch of the letters carved in our archaic and form is recognizable as the common tongue. The high priest continues to sicken, in spite of the Shirogren's ministrations. I fear each breath might be his last, but with every exaltation he exhalation, he whispers to me a means by which he might live on to walk among us still. He does not speak of the method, but I am sure it is a reliable one. He has not performed such miracles for others in the name, uh, in the name of uh, our necromantic purpose. Has he not adorned himself with the jewels of his powers over death? Were he to succeed, what wealth, what further fortune might he draw to our glorious worship? He uh, even offers me, a mere acolyte, the honor of sharing this golden immortality with him. I dare not refuse. I cannot afford to. And I shall ascend with him. Where is he? Where is he? Promised life, eternal life, glory, riches. Where is he? I don't think it worked out. It was probably bad. It's probably going to work out for him. Let's see. Did the secret zombie go up that ladder? Possibly. Did you ever investigate the dead half elf right here? Yeah, it's just random nonsense items. Oh. There are body parts here that we can pick up. I'm in a small, terrifying part of the Undercity Ruins. I have a whole oh, person in my inventory. Are any of them pieces of that other guy? <laughs> I don't know. I'm looking right now. Severed torso. Nope. Hand. Nope. Head. Nope. That was the nope. door behind Bereki. What Bereki? if Bereki is the zombie? I should ask him. I don't even remember who Bereki is. is. Expectantly. The penitent doesn't respond. Holding the penitent doesn't respond. Oh, here. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah, it came up behind the shopkeeper, but I don't I don't think he turned out to be the zombie with the thing up his ass. Grimlark verse number two. So where is the the zombie with the thing up its ass? 
Uh, I don't know, possibly in this door, but before we go through this door, I want to go back to the guild hall and see if we found the the guild of evil bad guys. The guild of evil bad guys. Yeah, the guild of assholes. And then um, once we've dealt with them, and by dealt with, I mean, Did I, ever talk I don't to the know. Rat? You tried to, I think, when we, we watched, first came we down wait. here. They released, uh, Wizards of the Coast released a new, finally, for the first time since the last time they did it, which was a long time ago, but I'm not going to state which edition of D&D it was because I don't remember if it was 3.5 or, uh, or D&D 2. Um, they re-released -re uh, Planescape as a campaign setting with a bunch of new rulebooks and stuff, and it's actually oh. a, a really great thing. It's a really, really great set. We've arrived in Worms Crossing. Huh, this is Worms Crossing? I think we came from Worms Crossing in the first place. I just got a thing that said like, find a Sharon Lookout. We've arrived in Worms Crossing. Shadowheart believes that Sharon Lookouts will be present in the vicinity awaiting her return. So where is, where is Worms Crossing? I think Worms Crossing is where we landed beforehand. Gotcha. Yeah, Worms That's... Crossing is the first series of waypoints we have for this act. Oh, gotcha. Why did I only just get that now, then? That was weird. I don't know. Shadowheart's triggered weird sometimes. Like, remember when we finished an entire temple for her stuff, and then I was like, Whoa, we're in sh the Charlayan Temple. We should look around. <laughs> Charlayan and... Temple? That's where... Oh. In Charlayan? Yeah. <laughs> Charlayan's Angels. <laughs> Yeah, we did that whole temple for Shadow Heart, and then near the end of being in that temple, it was like, whoa, we just got in this, this temple, we should look around. And like, what the fuck? Oh, yeah, then I we, guess Then we had an extended happen. dialogue about, like, there's trials here you should do, and I'm like, yeah, I know. <laughs> we did them. <laughs> the fuck? All right, up here is a guild hall. This is ideally where we go. But I don't know if this is just the back of some place or if this is if this is where the baddies are. You know what I mean? Lady yeah. Egg, Guild Hall, Har, Har, blah, Guild Blah 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 Blah. I can't speak. <laughs> Guild Hall. Snap He's fine, everybody. Bone. This is normal. He's I love like all this. these names. Snap Bone, Lady Croup, Magpie <laughs> Davies, Hans and Feather, Florida, and then just one guy, Elliot. <laughs> Don't doubt Elliot. Don't mind the ladies court. Just a game we play. Figuring how we'll kill you if you cross nine fingers. Before you ask, I ain't got none of that plum prosecco. Now, what can I get you, newcomer? A drink bartender. All right. Oh, he sells camp supplies. <laughs> Do we ever need more of those ever again? Yeah, I'm going to buy all of his stuff. Drunken cloth. While drunk, you have advantage on constitution saving throws. You gain temporary hit points equal to your constitution mod modifier at the start of your turn. Interesting. Uh, I think we need to talk to someone named Nine Fingers if you want to join this guild of evil guys who do evil things. Uh... You can join the evil guild. I'm chill. I'm gonna talk to Elliot just for the sake of talking to a half orc ever. You are unable to speak. Oh, uh, you're unable to speak. Final un. Oh, it's, <sighs> it's an orphanage, Ukta. What would you have me do? Seize their toys as payment? Well, they fail to pay tribute. Cool we mask. Withdraw our protection at the very least. And cede more ground to the Stone Lord. <laughs> You're not suggesting I yield a single inch of the city, my city, to this cult. I... <laughs> we already look weak. If you're seen to be forgiving debts... I didn't say forgive. Seize the building. 
arm any children old enough. If they protect what's mine, we'll consider that a start on what's old. Yes, Guildmaster. I... Excuse me. This is a private council. Keep your underpants clean, Ukta. We're playing host to a hero. Damn straight. You recall our reports of Kethrick Thorne. General of the Absolute, Champion of Merkel, Unkillable, Tyrant of Moonrise. Meet the one who killed him. I did it with my giant muscles. I actually tried to look up online whether or not there was masks because I wanted to see if I could put a mask on my character to hide his face. I couldn't find any evidence <laughs> of any. <laughs> you can do that if you want to, Keith. All you have to do is go into the mirror and change your character's race and make him a more beautiful character. I could no, suggest a Gith Yankee if you'd like. No, I like half orcs. <laughs> I just wanted to hide his illithid veins and failed. Am I interrupting your guards? Just let me pass. Of course. They knew you were expected. The guild is this city's first and last line of defense. It's only natural that we watch the gates for anyone interesting. I'd say you qualify. I already know the one thing about you that I need to. You've crossed paths with the cult's leadership before, and you're still standing. I mean to burn the Absolute from the face of my city. So if you mean to help, congratulations. We just became the best of friends. I ran into some of your thugs, the Rivington Rats. Oh, did you enjoy the encounter? I don't think they enjoyed it. <laughs> I have no doubt you gave them a good talking to. The rats usually <laughs> keep a lid on their nastier notions, but with the Stone Lord business distracting me, some are starting to test the leash. All the more reason to be rid of the cult quickly. So I can remind my crews it's not a leash round their necks if they cross me. It's a noose. I need information. Knowing what I know usually comes at a cost. But let's say we'll put it on your tab. Who is a stone lord that has your guild running scared? The leader of some new crew that's intent on painting my ass. If he was just another upstart who didn't like paying guild dues, fair enough. But he and his crew make no demands. Leave no survivors to pass on a message. All I know is that on every scrap of ground he takes from me, the cult of the Absolute soon starts sprouting. Doesn't matter. Whatever god the prick prays to, I'll send him to meet it soon enough. How is it you know so much about the Cult of the Absolute and its leaders? Simple enough. After Jahira warned me and then disappeared, I went nosing into the cult for myself. Okay. I could bore you with the details. How I found evidence of Gortash's projects, traced him to Orin the Red, and made a safe bet there was some dried out old necromancer to round out the three. Because it's always the dead, bloody three. Has been half gods who can't help but make their irrelevance everyone else's problem. There's more to it than the dead three. Oh. You've got some juicy little tidbit I haven't heard yet. I mean, she knows I'm a hero, may as well tell her, right? I mean, what's the worst she gonna do? Send people after us? I'll just what's kill the them she, too. What's the worst she gonna do? Die now? <laughs> huh. Hmm. It seems that my intelligence on you was patchy at best. That's annoying. So what do you plan to do now that you know? I had no intention of leaving my city in the Dead Three's hands. 
Definitely not leaving it to some slimy what? shit that doesn't even have hands. So, as long as you can keep a lid on what's growing inside you, we're allies. Until you can't, and we're not. Simple enough, I reckon. Now, war to be fought. You need anything? I'm I like this character. I'm fully team nine fingers. What can I do to help you? I was planning to soften you up a bit first, but straight to business then. You've been seen with a certain harper. Gray of hair, somewhat spiky of manner. <laughs> I feel like we should have brought Jahira here, but that's fine. Well, we never know what's happening. <laughs> you better not let a certain harper hear that description. Unless just taken to dyeing her hair, I'd call it accurate enough. I need to speak with her. She's still getting the lay of the land, I expect. I have information that might help with that. So, remind her to pay an old friend a visit, would you? I wonder what you do in moments like this when the game is four player. Yeah, you just, you just can't. You just literally can't get the character in your party. Does the game just go, like, just shit itself? No, it just means you can never do that quest. I just mean like the absurdity of the game asking you to do a thing that you literally can't. It won't let you, even though it's asking you to. Also, everyone yeah. here looks like they have the color scheme of Robin. Mm-hmm. She tells me next to nothing either. I see why you two get along. Oh, I never said that we get along. Now, is there anything else you need? Why do I need the guild? I've been doing well enough without you so far. Mm. You have. But don't be so quick to bat away a helping hand. We find few enough of them in this city. The flaming fist can be bought. The harpers are scattered and the parliament of beers, well, they're just generally too inbred to be useful. The absolutes Damn. at our gate. And the guild are the only ones truly standing against it. I dig it. I dig her. She's sick. Neat character. Uh, now let's kill her. <laughs> yes, that is exactly what we'll do. Um, hold on. Divine intervention. It's Uktar you want. The old silver smile there. I'm going to try to drag Jahira into this because I want to talk to that lady with Jahira in the party. And I will see if Jahira can use that sick mace. Oh, I've had a lifetime's feel of watching little men buff themselves up with grand titles. I look forward to the day we show the Archduke that his tongue is not half so silvered as he thinks. As do I, but we agreed to deal with Orin first. This is such out of date dialogue. <laughs> yeah. We could. It would just be a very short one. We cannot expect either of the chosen to fall easily. But fall they must, if we are to have all three stones to command the brain. Still, <laughs> if you see sense in making an alliance, I won't question it. I'll just look forward to the inevitable breaking Gortash spoke of. I do like Jahira a lot. Ah. I know what she speaks of. I need, uh, information from her. And a pardon from you. For I have not been overly generous with the truth. Tell me. What do you know of a man named Mintz of Rashomon? That you mentioned him? That was it. Why did the dialogue end there? Yes. <laughs> what? You'll need to free up your ranks a little first. Then let us be Was that supposed to happen? <laughs> that was weird. Uh, Jahira's gonna have to level up as well. Now let me make sure. I wanna see what I have her. You owe me a gold piece, grandmother. When I heard you died out in the wilderness, I made an offering at Kalimbo's well. Oh my god. Gold? Oh, I did not know I meant so much to you, Guildmaster. Oh, I'm terribly sentimental. 
Case in point, I've just let a harper walk through my guild hall, noticeably unhold. Because I'm curious about why you're here and who it is you've brought with you. Is this lady literally Jahira's granddaughter? Because oh. if that's the case, that would be kind of cool. All right. Let Jahira do the talking. This is the one who saved my life. So really, he owes you your gold piece. No! But we can settle that <laughs> slate or nine fingers. For now, we need help. We're searching for Minsk of Rashomon. A big name, that. Such information does not come cheap, High Harper. Not in normal times. Of course. Seeing as these are not normal times and we're all such good friends, I'll do better than tell you where he is. I'm bringing him here as we speak. Or parts of him, at least. I gave no orders about the condition of his corpse. What treachery is this, Nine Fingers? Have you thrown in with the absolute two? Against my own city. Careful. You're in very real danger of hurting my feelings. It's Minsk who's found his faith with Faerun's newest god. And a new name with it. Stone Lord. Lies. What makes you think he's joined the Absolute? Maybe he just doesn't like thieves. I, I considered that, but there's a pattern to his strikes and intent. In his short reign, the Stone Lord and his crew have earned a reputation. Pure brutality, no survivors. And where he mows my people down, this ripe little cult takes root, but not for much longer. We have word on where he plans to hit next. And he'll find us ready to hit back this time. Nine fingers. Estelle. Call off your ambush. Tell us where he is, and we'll handle this. We? I heard what happened to your harpers, Jahira. I'm sorry, but this fight's too big for you alone. She's not alone. She has me. If you're half the friend you're posing as, you'll tell her that her part in this is done. The Stone Lord's fate is sealed. We have a bigger war to fight. I'd rather turn our talk to that, but if you need a moment, Jahira, well, you've earned that much. My guild hall is open to you. Have a drink, Jahira. Have a rest. Just leave well enough alone. It would be a shame for the city to lose two of its heroes in one day. All right. So we progressed that quest a little bit. What does that say? Where is it? Um, she gets along with Jahira just as well as Jahira gets along with everybody else. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I like Jahira. She's fun. She's a fun character. Hi, Harper. Nine Fingers revealed that Min the Minsk... The Minsk is none other than the Stone Lord. A rival gang boss who's been stealing her territory for the cult. She's laid a trap to deal with him and won't tell us where. We'll need to search the guild hall for clues. Laid a trap for the Minsk? Uh-oh. Uh, yeah, apparently. Well, we want the Minsk. Isn't he the himbo? Yes, he is a himbo. I think that the 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 writing was weird. The the It's weird that it was called <laughs> the Minsk. I just looked at the chat. I just looked at the chat and it says, Jahira gained 33,000 experience. <laughs> <laughs> All right. How the hell are we going to figure out the lead that we need? Man, there's so much just stuff here that I want to take from them and then kill every single one of them. <laughs> but then Jahira will probably be angry. No, Jahira doesn't care. They're going to try to kill Minsk. That's all she wants to do. She so wants you, to save you, Minsk. Were you wrong about them being related? 
I think I think they're not related. I think she was calling her a granny because she has gray yeah. hair. I, I thought what it was saying was that she like she was actually sad and that they were. Uh, I hate that this halfling's name is Baby Jowls. <laughs> I hate that so much. Also, everyone's still dancing by Goldthroat, but Goldthroat's not playing music anymore. So everyone's just dancing around this no longer musical performance. I'm sorry, sweetie pie. I don't do requests. But toss me a few coppers, and I'll shoot you a saucy wink across the bar. Suit yourself? I guess some folks don't appreciate a good ditty well played. Nope, oh, I reset don't her. Now she's playing again. Don't give me that side eye like all those paranoid guildies. Nine Fingers is well respected in the Zentarim. If the Stone Lord's pressing in on her territory, we're here to help. Well, sounds like we should go find the Stone Lord. It does, but we need to figure out where he is. Hmm, so let's search this whole place for a lead. And maybe the, some of the Zents will have an idea. This character's called the Professor. He probably knows stuff. Something's on my mind. Right. Which crew are you with? Bellbreakers? The children of Hall? The children the of what? Spring familiar. Two of the many crews that make up the guild. A loose collective with ties to every criminal enterprise in the city's underworld. <laughs> I can just lie, okay. Neither. I run a crew called the Worm Skulls. Oh, but it's an easy check. I have to roll a one to lose. 30. 31 out of 15. Okay. Can't say I've heard of you. Spare me the story behind the name. I'm sure it's very scary. Fair warning. The Guildmaster wants no fraternizing with the Zentarim. They're here to work, not share war stories. They won't be much use to us if they're drinking and dicing when the Stone Lord kicks the door down. Nine Fingers is planning to take the Stone Lord down first. I need to know where. Looking to prove yourself, are you? Carve your name in the Guildmaster's good books. Nice to see a little ambition amongst the smaller crews. I can't help you, but look around for a halfling named Tut. Nine Fingers has been known to pour her secrets in his ear time to time. Maybe because he rinses them out with wine. Alright, so Tut knows the answer, probably. There's Tut. Hi. Foss. Saint Foss. Alright. <laughs> okay. Find Foss, I guess. Uh, oh my god, Mole! Oh my god! What? She's here! Well, look who it is. Oh. Looking to mess up my operation here, too? You'll find it a little harder than before. So I'd suggest you just stick to business, yeah? Hello. How did you escape Moonrise? I survived the hells when Eltrell fell. Compared to that, slipping out of Moonrise was child's play. Fuck yeah. They're alive. Is this a guild business you're running here? That's right. Specializing in pre-owned goods. You want to trade? Talk to Sticky there. I'm in management. Busy, you know. Oh. They're doing fine. Ready to <laughs> do some business? Somehow this is just the kind of place I'd expect to find you. You always wear sharp. If a bit slow. Too big to be quick. But I'll stay out of your way if you'll stay out of mine. Oh, we have found my children. Well, one child. <laughs> Everyone else is just back home. Chillin'. All right, let's see. What does he have? It says to find Foss. Let's see. 
Uh, this is oh, pretty good. Fossil White. Found him. Oh, it's just the person next to Tut. Can you uh, save really quickly? <laughs> What's happening now? I'm gonna I'm gonna steal from this child. <laughs> Glad to find you. I will now steal all of your belongings. Why it look like you're punching him? I don't know why it, it's acting like I'm trying to punch him. Stop punching children. Leave Sticky Dondo alone. No, I'm gonna steal shit from him right now. Isn't there a character in Pathologic named Stick? There's a character in Pathologic named Sticky, yes. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, Foss was right next to Tut. See, see? That Fingers is a master of strategic. Strategical. She's clever, Foss. Won't fight the Stone Lord out in the open, but she's got a spot picked out, see? And. and uh, I don't care about Stone Lord Tut. Don't care about some ambush. I asked, do you eat my last pickled ooze? Wait, I want to hear about the Stone Lord. Let him finish. Huh? Fuck her off. I'm talking to my friend about an ooze. Why well, won't I talk to your friend about a Stone Lord? Why are you pretending to be drunk is the first option. Oh, <laughs> uh, God. That's funny. I'm just here to listen to this fine man's tale about the Stone Lord. Well, these difficulty classes are getting up there these days, but I still have to roll like a one or a two to lose most of the time. Ah, there it is. <laughs> okay. Dick. I see how it is. Call me out. I have a question for you. What? Uh, you don't get armor effects while shapeshifted, correct? Uh, no. Give me your cloak when you're done talking. I like it. I, I'll give you a cloak to replace it. It just. Oh, do you it, mean my cape? Yeah. Oh, I'm like, I like the dress. No, I don't See, care about the dress. Fast. Ew. <laughs> this one has wrist, right? <sighs> no, it was a. The Stone Lord, I. Master's going after the accounting house, but he doesn't know that there's just another guild operation. Huh? Eh? Nine Fingers is gonna catch him with his claws in their coffers. <laughs> I pity the bastard. Happy? Now, why were you? We want drink in peace. Yeah. Very funny that you just call him out for pretending to be drunk. <laughs> why are you fake drunk talking? What is happening? What even is my cloak? Uh, France, enemies disadvantage on attack rolls. Do you? Yeah, you should probably have this. Do, do, it's either going to go on Lysel or do. Jahira. And then, if you want, you can have the Shade Slayer cloak, which you probably won't use, which is while hiding <laughs> the number... The number you need to roll a critical hit while attacking is reduced by one. The only characters in our party that would use that are me or Asterian, but Asterian's cloak is incredibly useful because it allows him to disengage. Got a foggy cloud. I'll probably put it in Asterian's inventory for now, so you can swap to it if you ever want to, but... Splendid gold outfit. We really are far along to leveling up again, which is wild because we just leveled today. No, Alright, so we're on the path to finding Minsk. Yep. Uh, 
Grand Duke is complete. We left our remaining concerns regarding Duke Ravenguard behind us. Find the worm way. They're gonna ambush Minsk at the city's counting house. We need to get there first. Where's the counting house? Besides just upstairs, I guess. Different region. What? I didn't mean I clicked Worms Crossing. I meant to go to Grey Harbor Docks. Save the Gondians, that's the Steel Watch Factory. Murder Target Nesha. Find the Night Sp Song. Speak to Laroa Can. Cazador's Palace. Hellsick the Diabolist. Murder Target Korra. I Murder the South Fira. one. Southeast. Uh, hi, Harper. Okay. Um, yeah. I have to head north and go around. And these things have stayed interesting. Come on, Jahira. It should, is. I, it's gonna be should, fun playing this character. I like Jahira. We should also she was really bad. Long rest. We should probably long rest. You are correct. Uh, I have let's literally do that zero really spell quickly. slots and one transformation remaining. Any conversations to have? Let's nope. See. Jahira ain't got shit to say. I'm not seeing one. You got your vines on my bed. I, I don't know what makes them happen. It's your weird druid. I don't think druids have, like, fucking involuntary <laughs> discharge. No, I think you do. Get up. There's something you should see. That's horrible clothes to sleep in. <laughs> I know it's early, but this couldn't wait. Are you pregnant, myself? <laughs> Watch. <laughs> I used to hate that sight. The glowing sky, the long shadows, the fading stars. I lived for the red of blood and the black of death. Now, I see the colors between. She's smiling. Look at the sun. What do you see? Hope, life, a future worth fighting for. Yes, and something else too. Beauty. The dawn was my torment. Rustling leaves, agony. I couldn't wait to escape this place. I've been waiting so long to hear those words. I will stay with you, come what may. Chance got that riz, let's go. <laughs> so proud of him. 
He's just my little guy. I'm so happy. Good for just you. Just my little guy. Oh, now Will has dialogue. Cringe. <laughs> How do you access the overall <laughs> shared interface anyway? Uh, the shared inventories? Yeah. Uh, on the bottom left hand side of the screen when you're in camp, it should have a little thing that says camp inventories. Oh. And then you can hit tab to access anyone else's that's not displayed here. Okay. I was just like, what if Kant had some kind of actually clothes? Although the stuff I sent to him seems to have disappeared. Did I actually send it Can to you? No. Canth? Or Will, I mean. Oh. Uh, I don't see anything in my inventory that you sent me. So. Hmm. How did I do that? Did you accidentally send it to literally anyone else? Oh, uh, <laughs> I, I sent it to... Well, at least it looks like one of them might have been sent to the Gale. You... Hold on. I can't believe you're wearing the dress. What? I can't believe you're wearing the dress when you have better armor in your inventory. I know, because it was funny. No, I'm going to take the dress off of you and sell it so that you wear this. <laughs> don't, don't. It's such good armor. It's fine. I fixed it. Now, there we go. That's better. Here, watch, watch this. I fixed it. Hells, our time is short. My father is here, and by the living gods, I will free him. No. This dialogue is super outdated. <laughs> what? We should hear that the entire place is flooding. Go then. Quickly. What? <laughs> Where's this conversation from? Anyway, see, now he's got the dress. Well, it's, it's good that it's on a character I'm never going to have to look at. <laughs> it's a good dress. Also, I already had a good like half orc Chick Chippendales thing going on, so I'm I'm good. All right, back to running across town. I can give if, you Jahira's outfit this town if you gave want. Us no save points. What is Jahira's outfit? It's a uh -huh. nice, it's a nice, suitable, tasteful tank top and pants. For who? For you. No, I, I, I picked this costume out when we first got to Act 3. Cover them up, slut. No. If anything, I want to mod them to look less weird. Half-orcs have a strange appearance in this game. I built Jahira to be really strong, and I'm I am looking at her stats and the things I have built for her, and I am actually genuinely concerned that she is going to be so good that she's going to stay in the party for the rest of the game. <laughs> Just out druiding me. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Well, that'd be a change of pace because you said that she was the character that was trash originally. Yeah, in the so in the first two Baldur's Gate games, basically all of the main party members are like not oh. only just built for flavor, they are built terribly. And Jahira Jahira and Khalid both are just not good at what they're built for. So basically she can be strong now because this game has respecking. Yes. Alright, well this uh, earthquake happened as I approached this building. But this should be where Minsk is, I believe. I guess you should approach Let's get Minsk. Jahira. Yeah. I'm very happy with the costume I found for uh, for Asterian. That's, that's just a very good outfit for him compared to what he started with. Who do we need to talk to? They're just right there up front, I guess, through the doors. Why do people flash when they're about to talk? Uh, what do you mean? Everyone's flashing. 
Uh, I have a, I, I have a thing in my inventory that inflicts a status effect on people near me. Oh, I was wondering if it was like a worm psychic thing or something was going on. Uh, so looking for find Minsk at the counting house. Is he yeah, behind I don't... this door? He might be behind the iron fence, but I don't know. Let's just talk to one of these people. Head C clerk me, honey. Welcome to the counting house. I'm head clerk me, honey. How may the Fellowship of Financiers serve you? A relaxed tone and easy smile, but the halfling's shifting gaze gives it away. Something has him rattled. You seem agitated. Is everything all right? Oh, I dumped her. <laughs> Oops. Here, let me look at my bonuses. There you go. Oh, she has her own guidance. Yep. It's okay. I got it. It worked out. Whew. It failed. No. Oh, difficulty class 18 to 17. What? Wait, why didn't the guidance do anything? Or did it only do there one? I guess. Maybe. I don't know. That was weird. Oh, uh, fine. Fine. A rather large and heavily armed fellow has taken the head banker Glitterbeard below. He's an unusual sort of customer, but the head banker said he'd handle it, so it's yep. fine. I'm sure we're just fine. I'm armed and far more dangerous, so I'll see myself downstairs. What? If you fail an intimidation check, it goes bad. Well, I didn't fail, so... Ah, a threat. Our other visitor simply <laughs> skipped straight to violence. <laughs> no need, I'm convinced. Show my guards this temporary vault pass, and should my superior ask, keep my name out of it. Thank you. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, a threat. <laughs> here, here, here we go. Can't the only from here. Vault pass? Here it is. Right. <clears throat> Descend and know. Upon entering the vaults, you forego the protection of city and church law alike. Which is to say, keep to your own vault and you'll be fine. Let's go. Private stash. All right, while I'm down here. What are you gonna do? Lock pick. Let's just pilfer them blind while we're here. You know, just mm -hmm. doing a little bit of, just doing a little bit of snooping around. Just, you know, we're going to check. be murdered. Yeah, we'll be fine. We're going to be murdered to death, and they're gonna know what we did. No, what? <laughs> no, they won't. They don't have any fucking clue. Are you kidding me? <laughs> what? No! Diamonds. <laughs> I'm very strong, okay? I'm very strong and extremely good at what I do, which is very specifically stealing shit from people. <gasps> you steal things from people? No. That should work. I've never done anything wrong in my entire life. All right. Well, that was fun. We're going to need to use some of this stuff in this upcoming battle, so... Stop fucking moving. You don't need to do anything, did you hear? Mm -hmm. Just need to see a vault pass, please. Here you are. Walks in order. Blessed day to you. I'm really strong. That's a lot of fucking checks. <laughs> Doing all right in there? Yeah. Uh, if you didn't, if you had to sneak past this, I think it would have been a struggle. All the yeah, all of the the traps would have hurt us. But because we're allowed in here, we're just passing 
all of these without any concern. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. You can walk in. The The traps won't go off because we're allowed here. Well, no, was my, I was startled because I accidentally clicked on the traps when I was trying to walk by. And I'm like, no, no, no. <laughs> Vault visitor log. Boris Mead Honey, Cynthia Boone Prof. Sarah Glitterbeard has requested I step out of the vaults to provide the client privacy. Huh. Hands on everything. Big room. Man, square the hell are you? Uh. There are so many things. There's so many things here to steal, mm -hmm. and I'm so excited about it. And there's a puzzle. For current door codes, please refer to the head banker's office. Highest security clearance only. All right, so head banker's office. Someone's got to go there so that we can pull off this vault heist. There are a lot of codes. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's a puzzle. Wait, do you have the codes? For current door codes, no, I just see the puzzle on the floor. The like there's banker's symbols. Office. Highest security clearance only. Oh, the high harper. We need a code to pass. Yep. All right. Hmm. Head banker's office. I will be right back. Counting house vault rules. Customer rules. Do not approach the vault on your own. Make sure the number of the number before attempting opening. Do not ask a cash card for help with locks, doors, or carrying valuables. They are here to observe and maintain security. No tipping. Warning. Wet floor. Unsafe to use devices powered by bottled lightning. Citizens of Baldur's Gate, you can rest easy knowing that our your hard-earned coin is safe behind the stone and steel that protects our grand vault. A single high-security vault containing the wealth of the, or the ordinary people, the grand vault protects everything from your grocer's profits to your grandmother's savings. The deep vaults. Our deep vaults are for citizens whose fortunes require an individual vault of blah blah blah. Can't start a conversation? I didn't start a conversation. Why is it caught. saying I'm in... I didn't get caught. I'm not doing anything. Well, it's the you got caught conversation. I'm not in a conversation. I'm watching Kant's conversation right now. It says, you've been caught looking around the Sword Coast's most secure bank vault without permission. The guards are understandably upset. I am not in a conversation. I can't do anything. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> uh, great. Uh, huh. So what's happening on your screen? I'm standing still. So it just broke, desynced. And yeah, I can't control Kanth now. Now that I go back to Kanth, my options uh, it it's frozen on me, and I can't do anything. I so can't I'll, steal Kanth from you. I tried to take him from you. <laughs> yeah, let me. I'll go up as Jahira and I'll push Kanth. Probably want to ungroup. Yep. One, three. Oh, they light up. Oop. Wait, why did this one click? Oofed it. No. It's weird. Oh, we could have passworded it. Gotcha. Yeah, apparently we could have brute forced this because it tells you whether or not the inputs are right, which admittedly would take a while, but. <laughs> I did not expect it to tell us whether or not we, each digit was correct. That's terrible security. Your fussing. Nine fingers had this one made especially. It's a mimic. That little mouthful. That'll be bad. Slow it down. But the stories. Stories. Tall tales and big names, lad. Don't let them fall. You can tell because the chain is straight. The archmage, Drist, the Drow exile. Heroes have power, I. But not half so much as we do. Dark Souls references. Coin into the right purse. 
A soft word in the right ear. It's not glory that spins these planes, lad. It's gold. See? No. Morrigan's cracked clay. What you doing, Minsk? <laughs> <laughs> there is no gold in here. Is that Matthew Mercer? <laughs> if there is one thing Minsk hates more than beasts with bad breath. That totally is. <laughs> It is those who are tricksome with the truth. <laughs> and turnips. But you are no turnip. Let that be of comfort in your final moments. See, he's so <laughs> low Minsk. random. He still seems very much himself to me. That's some, that's some hardcore fan servicing going on there. Yeah, this is the most <laughs> Baldur's Gate 1 and 2, like... It's extremely we're... funny how obviously it's fan service when I don't even know yep. the fuck... I don't even know the character. I'm just like, oh, I see what's <laughs> happening here. Yeah. <laughs> and they had him voiced by Matthew Mercer. It, it would be shocked. I could be wrong. That could be someone else, but it sounds shockingly like Matthew Mercer. Better to call yourself Stonehead. Uh. Your false face does not fool my eyes. I will cut until you look like the monster you truly are. Somehow, you are making even less sense than usual. Perhaps I can explain. Oh, Orin. Your lies, shapeshifter. Count yourself lucky he cannot stay. Ball. Nine fingers set a poor trap, little banker. Let the absolute's faithful show you how it is done. Now come, Stone Lord. We have the gold. And the absolute has need of it elsewhere. As you say, Jaira. She's wearing Stalarning, shape changers. Enough. The learning cultists then find out where they are nesting. So that Jahira was wearing um ball ballist armor. I mean she's bulletproof. Where the fuck am I? I can't believe he killed a mimic. That's fun. I'm glad that we don't need to fucking fight that thing in the middle of this fight. Yeah, he burst out of the inside of a mimic. Oh, now I'm in the fight. Yeah, I'm in the fight too. <laughs> We're all just standing up here. Glitter beard. Cash. Okay, so all the people, all the guards are on our team versus the. The boring bad guys, because none of them are the fake Jahira or Minsk. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's just some randos. Priest in a giant pile. I hope nobody casts Blizzard on us all at once. Yeah, these are so all of these storylines are tied here to this. These are the ballists. So at least we're making like lateral progression across all these quests. Yeah. Feels like a very replay value-y kind of chapter, even more so than yeah. the other ones, just because it's so fucking layered with stuff happening at the same time that you're like, what, wait, what am I even interacting with? All right. Tahira has a really high AC, so that's good. 
64 disadvantage. That sucks. I should just shoot the local people. At least I'll hit them. Mm -hmm. Not looking so good anymore, huh? Aura Great. of murder. If you can bonus action disengage, that would be great. If you can't, then that's fine. I don't have a bonus action. Gotcha. I don't even see that guy. Yeah, he was invisible. That would do it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I should have advantage at spotting him. The mimics are really animated in a cool way. All the upsetting little eyes. He did remind me that the next time I play Dark Souls, I'm gonna have to remember. I you know it's the chain points at you if it's the mimic, right? And it's curled up yep. if it's not. It's yep. been so long. Remember, I talked about doing like a 10 year anniversary thing. Where I played the whole series, all the Souls games again. And it's already a year later now. Whoops, all I did was play Dark Demon Souls Remake. I am very excited about the Elden Ring DLC coming out because Illusory and I are gonna play it together. <laughs> it's fine, I'll just be over here. I think it supports up to four people, so. I wanna play with my friends. Be prepared to take it slow and read every single item description the second you pick it up. <laughs> and then spend a lot of time looking at the environment. I'll just listen to you explain it all. <laughs> Checkmate. Anyone to hold person? Let's see. This isn't a very big fight, is it? It's not like another big of a deal. Famous last words as you get insta killed in your next turn. Oh, because the other person's not, is still invisible. Why can't I see? Yeah, that? everyone is invisible. So we just can't see the amount of people that are around us. Well, the top bar should still say how many people there are. But also, yeah, why can't I see the, what can I one, see the guy that two, was right three, next to us? Four, five, because he went back invisible. Yeah, but I can see invisible people. Yeah, I think my he's eye, not just using. Gone. I think he's not using standard invisibility. That's fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> Also, Advanced invisibility. <laughs> make sure that you have it toggled on in your passives. Uh, let's check. Passives. Non-lethal, free cast, and cool of the week. Okay, well. Hmm. Yes, I don't think it's a passive, because it's just my eye. Well, then maybe your eye is stupid and bad. Well, Volo gave you a fake and gay eye. Thank God. I'm not going to think anymore. I'm just going to do an Albert. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just looking at my options. I'm just like, does it, does it matter? Who cares? I'm just going to punch him. Uh, if I move you, will I be able to move my fucking Owlbear? Bop, 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 Smack. <laughs> Very good. Thank you for killing someone. I killed both of them. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Why are you saying it like that? <laughs> I'm not. I'm saying it sincerely. I said thank you, you. You always sound so mean to me. Oh my god. This is why the commenters think that I'm, a, I'm like an abuser gaslighting yeah, you. Because you speak like that. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> don't say things. <laughs> Yeah, uh, if, uh, if I remember correctly, the worry about uh, Elden Ring is that I think the D I think the Elden Ring comes out. What is it? I for did I put it on my calendar? Oh, that's no that's only a me problem. Okay. Elden Ring comes out the day before I go on a trip. <laughs> Hell yeah. Anyway, I got these two guys. I haven't used them yet. They have death burst. I think that means they explode. <laughs> oh, you got a skeleton. I have a skeleton. You summoned a skeleton. These guys have fly. Huh. 
All right, back to Jahira. Um, twelve percent superiority die. Jahira is never gonna take damage. Get muddy, nerd. <laughs> Her a her AC is very high, and she's she has this blur on her. She's just never gonna get hit. This is great. I guess someone with advantage could hit her, but but who would do that? Where the fuck are the bad guys? Uh, there's like two of them downstairs. But no, I was thanking you for killing someone on the turn right ahead of Jahira because I wanted to necromancy and make a skeleton. You bullied me. I didn't. <laughs> yeah, I'm sad that I'm going on a trip the day after the Elden Ring DLC comes out. I'm going to have to record an, an episode or something so fast. <laughs> yeah. I'm definitely not going to sit down and play that the second that it comes out and then not get up until it's done. Well, yeah, you'll play it solo. Wait, we should all meet up as a group. We can. For, for a separate playthrough. We're going to yeah. hang out. And you can explain all the story that I didn't get. Yeah. Stop turning invisible. I don't know what to do. <laughs> Fairy fire? That's This is what it's used for? Yeah, but you have to know where they are still. Yeah. You cast it in a big circle. You'll do fine. Also, I'm a bear. Great. If only your utility class had any utility. I See, wish. that's what it sounds like when I'm bullying you. Uh-huh. That's that's what you always sound like. That's how you talk. <laughs> <laughs> Was that not clear? That's, that's just what you... That's what you <laughs> oh. All right, I can fly. Only one visible enemy, so I guess I'll shoot that guy. God damn. What do you f We're gonna get him. Now who? Yeah. <clears throat> I like doing co-op playthroughs of the Souls games. Never got around to doing a, a, a big co-op playthrough of Elden Ring. Probably because it was so fucking long. I like those games. I'm a big fan. I could play them literally forever. Well then, guess what? <laughs> You've just lost your Wednesdays again. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I could always record footage. I could use it to record footage. For your Elden Ring video essay. I would not do a video Where essay. You say that Elden Ring is game. about capitalism. Um, Reaper of Balavaga. The thought of that makes me so <laughs> nauseous that I, like, it actually took me down a peg for a second. Like, I wow. needed to needed to reset for just a moment to just think about it's fun to hit you with your elemental weakness i just the idea i don't want to think about this at all <laughs> i just don't want to think about this at all i don't want to think about the kind of shallow reads that people have of elden ring or souls games i just don't want to instead i'm gonna i'm gonna think about how much i like those games and not not everything else that you just said i found two invisible people die Oh god, he exploded. <laughs> oh, I did the, oh I did the psychic blast. I was confused. Sup. Hi, I'm also here. Uh My name's Kanth. Because you can't you can't miss when I show up. <laughs> you heard about how Wild out. Rings about capitalism. <laughs> Where are enemies? <laughs> Where are enemies so that I, I know? This is how Toaster reacts every time that I write a video essay. 
I don't. I like your video <laughs> essays. I watch your video essays. How when dare start, you? When he first spoke to me in person, he just covered his nose because he had to like shield himself from the intellectual filth that people are gonna think you're being serious and that's that's when things are gonna get really really tough yeah. for me <laughs> toaster reacts to me in person the same way as like the guy from parasite when he's around poor people but it's people great. with bad takes <laughs> <laughs> great yep that is what happens that's how it works Um, there's a there's a thing that happens every time we talk about video essays, which is that we agree that they're going downhill as an overall I industry or whatever you want to call it, a genre. <laughs> but simultaneously, I then quiver in fear that I'm the problem, <laughs> <laughs> and then I then my current essay gets delayed by three more weeks. <laughs> Do not blame your lack of content on me. No, uh, I'm just no. It's that I just agree with the fact. Like I, I also think that essays are, are going down on average, but every time I think that, I also then continue. Like it makes just, me then look at my own essays I, worse again. I'm about, I'm about, like, like, I'm about to them? say some shit, but like I just feel like there hasn't been a good video essay since Annihilation Decoded. Like That's, that was the, that is the best one. That is yeah, that is the last. It's just such a good point. There have been video essays that are good and that say things. But there's never been like a great video essay since. There's not been a single one where I have watched where I've been like, oh yeah, this has done something meaningful yeah. for me. And that's a I sincerely just, fantastic video. Also, it is. I forgot it existed, which was very terrifying for somebody who made an Annihilation video essay. And I had yeah. to go back and check and I was like, hang on a minute, hang on a minute, hang on a minute. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Did I watch this and then accidentally just recreate it? <laughs> and I was like, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Yeah, that that essay is great because that happened again, by the way, because I made the Lego she essay, and then remember Jack Saint made a B stars video essay. I'm like, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. So by the time I got to the Ad Astro essay, I'm like, oh thank God, I'm making a video about something no one's talked about. I can't, I don't have to worry about whether or not my ideas are my own for once. I that's am a, unfortunately technically happened on Monster Hunter, but it wasn't. Uh, There's was nothing interesting yeah. about my Monster Hunter video. I am feeling that pain a little bit lately because there have been so many vi like really good content creators covering things I want to cover like yep. every single time I go to do it. I'm like, God damn it. You beat me to the punch. Yeah, I've, I've specifically avoided watching Codex Entry's Signalis video because I'm afraid of it infecting my brain when I might make a Signalis video at some point. No, I don't want to think about it. I don't want to think about anybody else's Signalis videos because I want to make... I, 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 I might have thoughts about Signalis. It's interesting. <laughs> this uh, is why I'm in the business of game reviews and not video essays. Yeah, they're easier. If yep. I just did reviews of things, that'd be a lot easier. Yep. I should just do a thing bad video about a movie every three months just to bulk out my backlog because that Monster Hunter video is the easiest one to make so far. Uh, there's not a single visible enemy, is there? <laughs> nope. It's a problem for Asterion. Uh, I don't think I have a button that helps. You probably don't. You should probably unshape shift as Wolfthorn and cast Fairy Fire. On what? On literally anything, because it sticks on things. The problem is that Fairy Fire sticks to the people you cast it on. It doesn't stick to the location. Sure, but if we manage to hit any of the people that have gone invisible, that would be pretty helpful. The There's one at the top of the stairs. That's Here the thing, is. is that by the time I end my turn as a Starian, I'll just get to see where one is again. Because they tend to just turn invisible and stay still. <laughs> so if I just remember where they are, I can usually just jump on them. Which is a different AoE, but it does damage. Alright. Let's see, for example... I just missed, didn't I? Yep. There we go. Found him. Sorry, other person that got hit. <laughs> Breathe deep and move. I overshot it because they were too close to me. Whoops. I can't get closer to them. I can't. I don't have any reactions left anyway. Thank you for your assistance. 
Nope, no one up there. Let's look. What kind of scrolls I got here? Ooh. That's kind of fresh. We kind of like that. Um. Oh, that's a really small radius, though. Um, let's see. Do we have any big AoEs here? Stinking Cloud. Where do you think some of these dudes was? Do we think there's any near us in this immediate vicinity? I have no- I have completely lost them. <laughs> okay. Well, whenever I find I'm one, they die. Sure. Hmm, there's one right in front of my guy. I think he's right here. Well. Yeah! I guess we can figure out where they are by walking through... Um... Something of murder. The auras of murder, but uh, spike growth, sure. Let's just, um. It's funny because they're like. <laughs> it's. it's who, this is stupid. Uh, it is. Is there a guy here? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> cool. Anyway, I fly over here now. <laughs> It's funny because these guys are just completely unthreatening. They're just invisible. Yeah. So it's just like, where the fuck are you, dick? Turns over, I guess. Whatever. Let's let's find out if there's one over here. <laughs> no, that's gross. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like it. My uh, wolf Lauren learned summon elemental, so he can summon these guys or that fire dwarf or some third fun thing. We'll find out later. I think it might just be another type of Memphis. There's one. <laughs> You're trying to attack me. What'd I ever do to you, dude? Killed everyone else? Incorrect. Camera's suspiciously looking over here. Is there a bad guy here? Ow, yes. Found it. Oh, they forgot to turn invisible. Oh, shameful. <laughs> They're stuck in the mud. <laughs> the mud exploded on them. Shame. Shameful. Yeah, I basically know where they are. If I could just throw something there. I can fly here. Then cyanic overload through here. Or force tunnel through here. Oh, they weren't there. They actually moved after doing it this time. They don't usually do that. Uh... We don't see anyone else, do we? Fuck. Or maybe Sonic Overload doesn't even work, I don't know. I'm gonna fly away again so I don't just stand here and get stabbed by the person that's invisible over there. <laughs> even the enemy AI is like, here's, here's where the enemy is. I'm running into them, just can't figure out what to do. Oh! Oh, they have that, huh? Yeah. Well, that's helpful. I did not know they had that. I just obliterated this man's health bar. <laughs> I don't know where this person went when they turned invisible. I lost them. So you see, finish that guy off. Yep. Uh, well, there's one <laughs> invisible person remaining. This is annoying. Are you up here? Best be on my way. Are you near here? Nope. Uh, 
dismiss summon. To difficulty class 30 this vault door so <laughs> after all, all that right. they just walked through some spikes on their own and died Stupid Jesus fight. Christ. <laughs> um, <laughs> let me find my. So uh, fucking funny. Alright, who made these spikes so I can delete them? Uh, you. Is that blood? There we go. Alright, let's blood. save so we never do that again. Okay, that was, a, that was a funny fight. At least it was original. It I was like almost it. as good as our fight in the Underdark against the Scrying Eye, where we spent 45 minutes trying to kill <laughs> a thing in lava. <laughs>